Okay, so here's how you create a PowerShell background job and manage it. So a job in PowerShell is just essentially PowerShell code uh, written that's running behind the scenes that gives you control. So let me show you an example here. So uh, we're going to be working with a few different commandlets. So if I go over here to get command name and let's just say that the noun is going to be job. We already have a few um, commands we can run to uh, create a job. So let's go ahead and just create one here. So we do start job at its most basic. We can do start job and then we can give it a name. Um, let's just name it um, right host name because we're just going to be writing the host name out. And then a script block, which is just the code that's going to be written. And um, I don't know, let's just uh, say write, write host. Actually, let's just bring this out and let's do host name here. All right, so that's going to just uh, create a job with the name of write host name and just simply run the host name command inside of that job. We hit enter and you notice that it immediately gave me uh, control back to the console. That's because it's just a background job. It's running in the background. And you can see there that uh, it returned a, a job object, which has a few different properties. And you can see the name, the state, which is running. A job has multiple states and um, um, some various other information about this. So um, since we have, we're back at the console, we don't know what's running. We can't tell if it's running or not. To do that, we can use get job. And when we use git job, we can see that our write host name job um, is in a state of completed. If we had multiple jobs, we could do something like state completed, and you can filter those things out right there. So we just we're just going to have this one single job now. So we just have this one job. So, all right. So um, what if the job has output? It, we know it completed, it executed in the background, but the job may or may not have had output. I know that whenever I run hostname, it's going to bring the hostname back of the current computer that I'm on. How do I get that back um, when it's inside of a job? To do that, we can use receive job. So we can pipe receive, pipe get job to receive job. And let's just make sure that we're only doing the, uh, the job ID that I want because each job has a particular ID, so I'm just going to run get job ID one, make sure that returns the only one, yep. All right, so we can use receive job, receive job and enter. Notice now that it just gives back, that just essentially receives the job's output. But one thing you, you notice is you do this again and it does nothing. That's because by default, whenever you receive the job, it essentially removes all of the output that's in that script block or in that uh, uh, that job output. If I run this again, all right, I'll run it again, and then I will make sure, see now it's ID of three, so I need to change that. The state is completed again. So now I can run get ID of three, receive job. This time I can use the dash keep. The dash keep parameter there tells PowerShell to leave that in memory. So now when I run git job, notice that the new one exists and the old one ex still exists. They both still exist in memory. And the job ID of one doesn't have any more data. It has the has more data property there, false because it removed everything. But the job ID of three still has all the data inside of it. So the uh, has more data is true. Now, um, whenever you get done uh, creating a job like this and managing a job, it's always a good idea to remove it. So what I could do is I could just get job, remove job, enter, and then now all of the jobs are removed. So that's a quick screencast. That's a quick tech snip on how to create a simple job and receive its output.